Oh no. Oh no 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 What is it? What does it say? Logo reveal. It's the third turning point, guys. Turning point three. That was me making a turn. We're gonna check out the new episode of Mushoku Tensei. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, don't just comment or like or or even subscribe. I want you to take it a step further. Tell some people about it, okay? But also do the liking and commenting and subscribing, okay? And uh, you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. You'll also find some other links down in the description. Like the link to my second channel where I do non-anime reactions or the link to my Twitch channel where I do this live on stream right now. These people right here, they're in emote only mode because I don't trust them, turning point three. I don't want to get spoiled. You could be like these people. Hang out with me. Watch some freaking Mushoku Tensei with your boy. All right, be like them. Let's get it. Where's the turning point? That's what we're wondering. Oh yeah, yeah, real quick, real quick, real quick. Thoughts, thoughts on turning points. Big events, right? Turning point one, the displacement event, right? Turning point two, Orsted shows up, shit's going down. Orsted doesn't fuck with Hitogami. What's up with all this shit? Weird. That's when we first meet Nanahoshi as well. Rudy gets <laughs> clapped up by the dragon god. There's levels to this shit. Turning point three either has to one, not involve Rudy. It takes place outside of this, right? Or two, it does maybe involve Rudy or maybe it's not even necessarily that it involves Rudy, but it's at the school. And the only turning point events that I could see happening at the school are one, having to do with the doll, the basement, the weird shit in, in that regard, right? Or two, Nanahoshi summoning circles. It's one of those, or Body Gotti shows up, he does his whole thing, I don't know. Bro, you looking dumb as shit, what is that? <laughs> Yay, Norn. I could also just be wrong, by the way. It could just literally be some shit happening, you know? Some motherfucker could just show up out of nowhere, and then that's what turning point three is. My man's trying to write a book right now? Wait, he's trying to write a book right now. That's fucking cool. I like that. That's hey, that's the homie. He's trying to gas up his boy. Yo, let's go! Norn's coming in clutch! <laughs> Yo, but don't forget about school. <clears throat> you heard the little. <clears throat> uh, yeah, no, I won't. I promise. <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me you're gonna. Oh yeah, we skipped the OP around here. Okay, I don't. I'll. I'll find out later. Why are you just watching Aisha like that? Oh, does she got something to say? What are you trying to say, Aisha? <laughs> Yo, yeah, but room and board don't count, bro. You live in here. You just do the chores, bro. She, she ain't even going to school right now. She's not going to school. She lives there for free. And now she wants to get paid too? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, kick. she belongs to the streets. Kick her out. Get her out of here, dude. What the fuck? Also, by the way, I'm joking. Obviously, yeah, just give her a little bit of money. Who cares? It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. No, okay. <laughs> bro, that little face did way too much for him, bro. I don't like that. <laughs> Yo, he's getting one over. It's all the Oni-chan in the... Oh my god. Yo, you gotta stop getting played by her, bro. Damn. Yo, she a haggler? Oh, oh, chat, you know something really cool that I didn't even know until I, I started listening to the audiobooks. I'm only like, I'm on chapter two of, of volume one. I'm sorry, okay? I don't read it, I don't listen to it a lot. But did you guys know her mama used to guard Princess Ariel when Ariel was a baby? When Ariel was a baby, her mama guarded her. And the reason why her mama stopped being a guard for Ariel is because she took a, um, she got stabbed with some poison shit or something like that, and she almost died, and that's why she started working for Paul and Zenith. That's cool, dude. Or maybe a lot of us forgot, maybe. 
You could chip in a little if she's short. Brother, let me tell you. She's short. <laughs> right? Tall people. She's a haggler, bro. She got... Bro, what? Is she gonna make something with the fabric? Uh-oh. Oh, she misses mama? Oh. <laughs> Wait, she bought a fucking curtain for her room? Oh. Oh, wait, 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 show wave, wait, show wave, okay. This is interesting. All right, so, first we summon inorganic matter, plastic bottle. Okay, a thousand percent, this is turning point three. She's gonna summon something that's crazy. Summon organic matter, summon an organism, like a plant or a small animal, and then summon, okay, dude. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, finally, experiment with returning the summoned creature to its original, okay, dude. Okay, dude. This is scary. This is fu some scary shit. I'll have to see you know who again. Orsted? Oh! Oh! It's the person that's all the one that they mentioned before that she can't tell him about. Is that the turning point three shit? Wait, wait, real, real quick, real quick, chat. She said that she was told by the person that she's not allowed to tell others about the person or she's not allowed to tell Rudy specifically about the person. Others, just in general. Now, here's the real, here's the real crazy thing that I don't want an answer to. What if that person who has this authority on summoning is also the person who maybe can create some intricate spell shit that I don't know, maybe Nanahoshi ended up using after it being brought up by some others in order to make intricate levels to her summoning and they lived in the house that he lives in. They're from the basement. The basement person is also the person that she can't talk about. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe. But also, probably not. Damn. Damn. That's fire, dude. Yo, Zanoba! That's kind of sick! Yo, Zanoba can make figures now, chat! When did he figure that out? Uh, dude, but seriously, the doll, I'm just saying the doll, Nanahoshi summons a soul into the doll. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just reaching, bro. I'm trying to grab anything. <laughs> I can't wait. I want to see what Turning Point 3 is, chat. I want to see it. Oh, that's Ginger? Oh, okay. That big ass dad, I mean, because of his mother and trusting him in her care. Yeah. That's so mean. He traded away Ginger for the Roxy figure? Oh, it's a chat. What the fuck? Yo, wait, Elite Elise is getting a chastity belt or whatever the fuck this thing is? Oh my god, what the fuck, bro? Oh, yo, what are the odds Rudy designs it to look like the Pantsu? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. Either one, he's gonna have too much mana, it's gonna fuck something up, or two, he's not gonna have the mana he needs when shit happens. Bro, just knowing this is a turning point is fucking me up right now, chat. It's a normal day jogging. How far into the episode are we? We haven't even hit halfway. That's such a big bed. Damn. Here it comes. Turning point. Turning point. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh God. Oh God, Silphy, what is it? Oh God. I'm pregnant. Silphy's pregnant? That's crazy. I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. It, there's no way that's the turning point. This is just the start of the turning point. There's no way that's the full turning point. There's more to it. 
That's crazy. I thought he was gonna... Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Yo, Sylphie actually has won, right? I don't think that Roxy's coming close. I don't think that Eris is... Like, bro, they're out of the game. Sylphie won. She beat them. Aww. From a little boy to an older boy to a young woman. Thank you. Thank you for letting me nut in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait oh this is actually like way deeper and sadder than i thought because this is something that could have never never happened in his first life all the mistakes all the trauma that fucked him up he never had a chance for this to occur he lived a fucking life and it was empty void of all this shit he fucked over every relationship he had with a family. And now he gets to start a family and, and actually be good. Bro, what you mean? Hey, this situation has provided him a chance to be planters. Okay, you guys know what planters is? Or, or, or emerald? Or I think there's a diamond one. All right. He has the opportunity to fill her with nut. Planters, peanuts, emeralds, diamonds. They also do, they do like almonds. Okay. He's going to fill her with so much nut because she can't get pregnant now, dude. This is a dub. What do you mean? This is the perfect chance for him. Chat, why y'all neighing? I'm spitting right now, chat. Let me cook. We'll see how delicate she is when that back's blown out. <laughs> Actually, it's already been blown out, right, chat? Yeah. Maybe turning point three has more to do with Ariel. <laughs> Yo, Aisha's a bully, dude. What a bully. He about to be a grandpa, grandpa Paul. Bro, this is gonna be a partial elf, uh, uh, baby, dude. Bro, that's crazy. Rudy about to have a little fucking pointy-eared elf baby. Potentially. Unless his genes are strong. He might have some strong genes. Like some Levi's. Oh, this would be so cute if everybody could come back and live with him in his nice house. Oh, no. Oh no 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 Eris is showing up. Eris is right there, right? Eris is right there right now. Eris is right there right now. Oh wait. Okay, or not, or not, it's a letter. What is it? What does it say? Oh, thank God it's not Eris. Holy shit, that would have been... I thought Eris was going to be there. Okay. Zenith's rescue is difficult. Send help. Yeah. You bitch. Why are you here, Hitogami? I forgot what an asshole you are, dude. True. If I never sent the letter... They would have stayed in Millis or the port town. Paul would have sent them to Asura if you never wrote. But why? Lilia has family there. What will happen to Sylphie and the baby if you leave on a journey? Yeah. 
here's my advice. Go to beggary. Oh my god, you fucking dickhead. Await the next mating season? When it comes, Linia and Persena will challenge you. Have relations with one of them. Do that and you will gain even greater happiness. Why would he gain even greater happiness? Bro, I don't trust this motherfucker, bro. He is sussy. And he's keeping him from going to beggary, which I think is more to satisfy Hitogami than it is to keep Rudy from being filled with the regret. Dude, don't tell me like Paul dies, dude. Oh my god, you gotta go. I don't like this. Why would she? I don't like this. Why are you gonna break up with him? He loves you. Get the fuck out of here. One piece! One piece! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the turning point is the fact that his mom's in trouble and he's stuck here because he doesn't know whether he should abandon his family, which is now growing because his wife is pregnant, or go and save his mom and help his dad and all that shit. That's the turning point. I really thought some wild shit was going to happen. We still have time. Some wild shit could still happen right now. Uh, Norn, what the fuck are you doing? That's not a big-ass backpack. You going to school like that? She looked like a fucking ninth grader. She looks like a freshman just getting into high school with that big-ass backpack. She's about to run down the halls trying to not to be late to class but getting there first before anyone else. That's kind of embarrassing. Okay. Okay, so he has to go. He's going to go because... He's definitely going then. Okay. Why did Hitogami say, wait until the next mating season, nut in one of your fucking uh, beast ladies... And then you will find extreme happiness. I'm still kind of on that part of it. He's going, dude. Of course he's going to go. Rescue your mom and dad, bro? Come on. Okay. Okay. He's going to regret going. Why is he going to regret going? Shit's about to go down, bro. Shit is about to go down. Beautiful. Okay. A chat, yeah. That didn't that wasn't as crazy of a turning point as I thought it was gonna be. That was probably the weakest turning point of all of them so far, bro. Well, I will say, I will say the events that follow this turning point, right? If they are included in the turning point, like if they are also the turning point, then it might be a big deal, right? Like actually him getting there, saving whatever, like why it's so difficult might be part of why it's a, a turning point, right? How much Rudy can contribute, the effects of him being away, right? Him not being around the family, you know, while they're going through whatever. I could see it being a bigger turning point, but right now with the information we have, this is probably the weakest turning point that we've got. And also again, just going back to what I said before, right? He never would have had this opportunity to have a kid and be a father. It never was a possibility back in his old life. And there's 
already something that's happening that's taking that away from him. Taking away the opportunity to be a father, or at least for a certain amount of time, right? It's gonna be a year till he gets there, which means the baby's already gonna be born by the time he gets back. It'll be like five months, almost damn half, half a year old. The actual like shit going down there is probably gonna be a minimum of six months, if not longer, and then a year to get back. My best guess is the shit that's happening there that's keeping Zenith away, that's like hanging up uh, Paul and all that stuff is such a big deal. He's gonna miss out on a lot of his kid's life. And maybe his kid even fucking dies while he's away. I would say that's too far, but I don't know. I don't think that's too far. I'm excited for the next one. That was a good episode. What'd you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to do those things, all right? We want this video to do well. So you like and comment, subscribe so that way we can keep growing. All right, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.